Ouch! Oh! Oh, that one's gonna leave a mark. Oh, be sore in the morning with that one. E! Oh! Oh, the humanity of it! Hello again, Fishalots! I'm John with Fishing with Johnny Fishalot, and I got a question in that said, hey, what's the best way to prep your crab for some finicky blackfish bites? And I'm going to tell you, let the fish tell you what their preference is day to day because it changes. So if a buddy next to you is cutting crabs in half and they're really tearing that apart, go with cutting crabs in half. If you're fishing with whole crab, little crab, go ahead and go with the little crab. So without further ado, let's get into the episode where I'm going to show you the best ways that you could prepare your crabs in order to entice a finicky bite. All right, let's get into it. All right, so first let's start off with basically the most common way I think many fish lots out there bait their crab, and that's by cutting them in half. So you're going to see me cut off the legs here of the crab right here, and that's because it's just been a finicky bite on the day, and what I want to happen is the blackfish has less options to get meat, so he's going to have to come in and eat that half a crab on my hook and come into contact with my hooks, hopefully. Now here's a, another great example of how great I am at filming. There's my feet as I'm trying to film a tutorial about how to bait crabs on a hook. So, you know, basically I'm good at catching the fish, maybe not so good at filming catching the fish there, fish a lot, so I could probably punch myself in the crotch there for uh, failing to film that, but you're gonna get the idea here in a minute when the crab comes back into focus. So there you go, there's the first hook and a half a crab, and then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bait the second half of the crab. I simply put the hook through the leg, through the, the socket of the legs, I'm gonna come out right where I smashed up the crab. And the reason why I smash up the crab, even though they're in half with the weight, is so that the crab shell doesn't interfere with the hook. It just makes it easier to pass the hook through the crab, and down it goes to get me dinner. Here's going to be the second one now. Again, I'm going to cut off the legs only because it was a finicky bite. Um, often, if you want to get a chew going, leaving the legs on could be beneficial. But here, I was having more success with the legs cut off than on, so I'm going to continue to cut off the legs. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take that weight that you see in my right hand, and I'm just going to smash in the shell right there. Now, again, I'm an expert uh, filmer and photographer here so you can see my shoes instead of the crab but there's the end result right there is I just simply smashed in the crab with the weight and then I'm gonna put both hooks through the crabs sockets in the legs out of the hook shell just as you see it right there and down he goes to get me a blackfish and hey if you're getting value so far to this video fish lots make sure to smash that like button or gently scroll over and click that like button so that this video can spread to more fish lots out there and help more people catch more fish. All right, let's get back into the action. Here's another quick tip for you fish lots out there, okay? So you can see me here, it's a slow bite, just as I said. And what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna start moving my bait around looking for holes. There you see me. And what I'm doing is looking for hard structure, okay? So sometimes you could fall into a hole, sometimes you could brush up against a piece of structure. When the fish are not active, they're not gonna travel a great distance to come to your bait. So you really wanna make sure you put it right on top of their face. And right there you saw me pause and I handled the reel right there. That's because I got a bite just as I went up against a piece of structure. Okay, now moving on to the bigger crab. So on a day like today, we all were trying to use small crabs because the small crabs were triggering the bite. However, everybody in the boat was looking for those small crabs, and so you're just left with the large ones. And so for the large crabs, what you can do is, is you quarter them, just like you saw me do there, and now that piece of crab is the equivalent of a smaller crab cut in half. So same thing again, all you're going to do is you're going to take your hook, you're going to pass it through the leg socket, and it's going to come out through the meaty side of the crab where the blackfish really likes to come in there and eat it up. So there you go. And all right, here you're going to see Mr. Green Crab, and we're going to just rip the head right off of it just like that. And that is another great way to open up the scent of a crab. So keep in mind, you never want to just put a crab on a hook. You really want to open up the scent so that the blackfish can hone in and tear it apart and hopefully get a good old hook in the face. So in this case, it's the end of the trip, and I'm going to use green crabs. This is a very important little note here. So if you find yourself on a boat and you have a bunch of white leggers, those crabs that you saw in the first couple of clips were white leggers and this is a green crab, use the white leggers up first only because they're going to be the first to die. Never use a dead crab on your hook. They go bad incredibly fast and they're nasty and they don't get bites. 
And that green crab is just a great alternative to white leggers because the white leggers are just not as hardy. So that green crab is, uh, those are the only species left alive in the bucket. So that green crab went down and you know what? It worked just as great as the white leggers did. And here you can see a nice fish being brought up and I'm gonna bag this fish into the boat and that's gonna be dinner. And all right, this is gonna be a fun little clip here. Go ahead and take a listen. Yeah, baby. Yeah, and that's what happens when you blackfish. It could be an extremely difficult fish to catch and even very frustrating sometimes. And so right there, you heard my buddy. He set the hook. He thought he had a fish. Very quickly realized he did not have the fish. And so no matter how you bait these crabs, just keep in mind you need patience and you need to stick with it because this is a very difficult fish to catch. And if you don't want to be like my buddy here and miss your fish or not know exactly when to set the hook on a fish, go ahead and check out this video where I put together a bunch of useful tips and tricks that'll let you know when exactly to set the hook on the blackfish, how to fish for these blackfish, and of course, how to catch yourself some more blackfish to take home with you on any given trip. So go ahead and check that one out. And thanks for tuning in, Fishalots. Of course, I'll see you out there on the water.